I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 7th of June. Drier air has invaded the state this morning. We actually might make the whole day without showers for a change. Let's look out the window this morning and look at that daylight out there at 5 o'clock. That's view coming from the Kalman Sky Cam. Sky is mostly clear. Uh, looks like we're getting set for a good-looking sunrise there. That's coming from Inverness. Uh, top of the Wingate Inn, looking back over toward the east. And in uh, Fayette, pretty much the same sky there. Things are nice and quiet this morning. Here's the uh, big picture. And we've got the uh, uh, trough over the northeast. And that has helped to push a surface boundary through here. And uh, just maybe we'll make it through a day without having to deal with the uh, afternoon showers and storms. Uh, big convection way off to the west. Here's a surface boundary. And you can see that front this morning. Uh, really below Montgomery, and the dew points will drop into the 50s today. That will feel much better, so we'll be awfully warm today, but the humidity value should be noticeably lower. There's a watch warning map. We've got uh, severe weather boxes up for parts of the southern plains, and there's a look at one of those watches. That's until 10 o'clock this morning. Nasty-looking uh, mesoscale convective system, MCS, coming down on the Kansas-Oklahoma border with a high potential for damaging wind with that. Uh, severe weather risk today from Salt Lake City, Utah, over to uh, Columbia, Missouri. Of course, uh, we're dry as a bone here tomorrow. The uh, risk continues well to the north of here, roughly from Denver back over towards Cincinnati and Indianapolis. And on day three, a couple of uh, slight risk areas, again, well to the north and west of Alabama. QPF chart rain for the next five days, not very much. This is valid through Friday evening at 7 o'clock. Uh, nothing for Jackson, Mississippi. And across Alabama, the amounts range from a trace down at Mobile up to maybe one-half inch for the Tennessee Valley. And the tropics on this seventh day of the 2010 hurricane season are still very quiet. And again, as we often mention, the uh, core of the season is a little later, typically August, September, early October. Well, this is the output of the OZGFS valid at 1 o'clock today. This is at 500 millibars. There's the trough over the east, 594 heat bubble to the west. And around here, we have a very light and variable northwest flow aloft. And at the surface, dry air is the story. We think there's a very good chance we will make it through the day today with no showers, with the lower dew points. And the same deal tomorrow, all of the active convection way up north. Our friends up in the Midwest that were raked by a major tornado outbreak uh, over the weekend uh, uh, could be dealing with more active weather tomorrow. Wednesday, moisture begins to return. We'll mention a small risk of an afternoon shower, but still widespread rain not likely. And Thursday, a little surface boundary tries to drop in here from the north, and that would suggest a, a chance of scattered showers and storms. That boundary stretching from a surface low well east of Long Island down through here. Yeah, there's little upper support for that. More than likely, this front will not make it. And there's Friday. Obviously, there's no support for a front. The, the big trough out west, we've got broad ridging in here. And down below that, the surface front just kind of fizzles out. And so, uh, so for Thursday and Friday, we'll mention your standard uh, risk of scattered, mostly afternoon and evening showers and storms. And Saturday, starting off the weekend, uh, the heights are awfully high. The 594 circle shows up uh, just southeast of here with a very uh, cold-looking trough back over the west. And again, down below that, there could be enough moisture for a few scattered showers as we start the weekend, but nothing out of the ordinary. And the same thing on Sunday. And a week from today looks fairly moist. And again, that would be pretty standard summer weather. Very warm, muggy, with a few scattered showers and storms. We'll go out there toward the end of the forecast on the 22nd of June. And again, the good thing, no nasty 594 heat bubble there. We've got, in fact, broad troughing over the east with ridging over the west. And again, that would suggest warm, muggy, chance of scattered showers and storms. You know that uh, forecast so well. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.